Welcome to Azigi NLU API portal. We're going to show you how we use our NLU API to control a LEGO Mindstorms robot using natural language understanding. So that means that you can use common phrases like, I want you to go forward three feet, or I want you to turn around 180 degrees, or please stop in order to control the robot. So the first thing that we did is we created an application called the NXT Remote Control. So let's go into the details. So on the page that loads up here, you will see the API key, the secret key, and the endpoint that you would need to know in order to contact our API and be able to use it. You also have options of selecting several plans uh, to use with our API. And these are the usage statistics for how often we use the API to control the application or the robot. So the first thing that we needed to do is go in and create entity lists. Now, entity lists are categories of keywords that we want to identify to help our NLU model um, select the correct action to perform based on what the person says. So here are a couple of examples. So let's go into measurement and view that list. So these are the different units of measurements that we wanted to identify in order to more accurately instruct the robot on how much to move forward or backwards. Now the great thing about the API is that it uses a semantic expander and so what that means is it actually finds other words that mean the same things as the words selected here and it adds them to the list automatically. That way the developer or the subject matter expert does not have to give an exhaustive list of categories of keywords. So let's go into this one here called hints, 180 hints. And so these are hints or categories of keywords that we wanted to identify in order to be able to instruct the robot to turn 180 degrees. And so let's close out of this. Now let's go into the sample. Now the sample or the corpus is a list of statements or example phrases that we want to train our NLU model on. So as you can see with the color codes, we do have our entities are in here and they're auto-tagged and they serve as hints for our model to be able to better target the correct action to perform. Now let's go ahead and filter out some of these um, actions. So let's start out here with forward. So the great thing about this is just like with the hints, you don't have to provide an exhaustive list of every way that somebody can say the same thing. So you, somebody could say, okay, I want you to go forward one foot. And this would identify the same action as forward as these example phrases do. And you would be able to identify the uh, entity foot and the value of one, and you would send those in as instructions to the robot to move forward one foot. So the same thing goes with the other actions. So you have stop and you don't have to say it like this. You can say please stop. You can say okay I want you to stop now and they would all perform the same action. And the same thing for these actions as well. So you have right, turn left, go in reverse, and this is instructions to turn in a circle. So there you have it. And so now what we're going to do is go ahead and test our NLU model on our robot. Now that we've configured our NLU API online, we're going to go ahead and test our robot with several example phrases. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, please move forward two feet. Now turn a little bit to the left. Now I want you to go in reverse. Okay, stop. Now go forward. All right, let's stop. Please turn right 90 degrees.
turn around for me, please. Come forward. Please stop. And there you have it.